Obituaries are sponsored by Colonial Funeral Home and Stokes Chapel, Fair, Ray, and Perry Spencer Funeral Homes, Boone and Cook Funeral Home and Crematory. Constance Durbel, 66, died this morning. Arrangements are incomplete at Fair Funeral Home. Two announcements from Colonial Funeral Home. Mary Lou Rogers Goad died Monday. The family will receive friends this evening, 6 to 8, at Stokes Chapel and other times at the home of her daughter, Teresa Anderson. Funeral services are tomorrow at 11 with burial in Aaron's Corner Community Crossroads Church Cemetery. She was born in Patrick County, was a homemaker, and worked with her husband in the Corner Market Convenience Store. She was preceded in death by husband Charles Goad. Surviving are son Bruce L. Goad and Crystal Hennis, daughter Teresa Anderson, both of Lawsonville, two grandchildren, brother Frank Rogers and Bonnie of Rural Hall, and canine companion Midnight. Funeral services for Hannah Elizabeth Garrett Isley are tomorrow at 2 in Madison, with interment in Ridgeview Memorial Gardens in Eden. The family will receive friends this evening, 6 until 8. Two announcements from Boone and Cook Funeral Home. The family of Jeffrey Boyce Roberts, Jr. will receive friends today in the Moorhead High School Gymnasium, 4 to 7. There's a celebration of life service tomorrow in the Moorhead Auditorium at 4. Funeral services for Dr. Shelton Phelps Dawson are Saturday at 11 at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Eden with interment in Ridgeview Memorial Gardens. The family will receive friends tomorrow evening, 7 to 9. Funeral services for Ronald Eugene Wright are tomorrow at 11 at Winston-Salem First Baptist Church. The family will receive friends starting at 10.30. Burial will be at Parkland Memorial Gardens. Perry Spencer Funeral Home in Madison is in charge of arrangements.